good evening to all of you and like uh, every week this week on the 7th of july evening 4 o'clock 44 minutes we are going to release the nifty and bank nifty futures trend analysis report for the next week and not only that, we will also see the last week's trend analysis performance, what it has regarded. And today, 7th July, we have conducted a live session, morning 9 o'clock to 9.30, using the one standard deviation software. So you will also see that how those levels calculated performed. So I will just move into the next week's trend analysis. So next week our trading week is from 10th to 14th July. So far this particular report we have been generating from the 88 weeks. Out of that 80 weeks were successful. You can access those past report, reports from this link. And it gives the similar success if you are using the software or mobile app. Of the one standard deviation, you will experience the similar success also. So here the Nifty last traded price was 9668 today. Real-time estimation of volatility 5.58%. Based on that, 75 was 75 points of the price point movement is expected. I am using the Fibonic retracement ratios, and based on those ratios. I am concluding that if the price move above 9686 then the trend will be up and it has all probability to continue till 9789. If the price fall below 9650 it has all probability to fall till 9547. And if the price consolidate in the band of 0.5 retracement, which is 9705296319631, then we can say it is a consolidation band. We have to plan accordingly. So trade plans will be different. Now moving into a simple trade plan. So if the price is moving up and it is giving you an upside breakout 9686, I am giving you a very simple trading plan. You must once 9686 crossover happens, you should purchase with 9700 put option buy along with that. You must hedge it. If you get the first target 9714, you revise your stop loss to 9697. Second target, revise your stop loss to 9705, which is 0.5. Third target, if you are getting 9734, revise your stop loss to 9727. This is how you should trade in the uptrend. Do not forget to hedge it. Hedging is very important in my plan. And moving to the downtrend, if the price gives the downtrend breakout in Nifty 9650, you must sell with 9650 call option buy. This is the simplest trade plan. You can make it complex by selling some option also. First target 9622, if it achieves, then revise your stop loss to 9639. Second target 9609, divide your stop loss to 9631 and you can just continue till the last target or the trailing stop loss trigger. If the stop loss triggers, if you have entered a buy trade and the stop loss trigger, then close both the things. Your option, hedged options as well as the future and try to initiate a fresh trade in the short side. This is a swing trading principle. So this is how you will be trading and for the bank nifty we have given the similar kind of analysis here. However, since the bank nifty is a 5 digit number, I am telling you to enter at 23,562 above, keeping a stop loss 23,358 and once you are buying here, you must hedge it with 23,600 put option in case if you are having any query in following this particular report, please feel free to email me in this particular address. So this reports what we are generating every week on Friday evening 
and sometimes on the Saturday morning. If you wish to avail this report in your email box, you must register in our website. You just visit our website smartfinancing.com and click in this button so to register. So or you just visit the footer link where we have given the registration. Both will land you in the same page. So register here so that this reports also will be sending you to your email. We'll also send you the follow-ups. What happened to that particular report in the subsequent days? We'll also recommend you certain option strategy and you will be invited for many webinars where you will get an opportunity to learn many new techniques. So many things you will get if you are just registered with our site. So please register here so that we will have your info to intimate you whenever any event is scheduled. And we have just added a new feature in our website here. So under this video course section, if you go to this point one, today's stock and index future trend using 1SD. So if you click here, normally before 9.30 to 10 o'clock this period, we will update it. 9.30 to 10 o'clock. So morning 9.30 to 10 o'clock, this page will be updated. But in, in that particular day, for that particular experiment, how many stocks in the uptrend, how many in the downtrend, how many have given a gap up, how many stocks given gap down, how many stocks open between the buy and sell entry calculation of one standard deviation, those numbers you will get and if you just click on that, you will get those stocks also, name of those stocks. So this will be a fantastic opportunity for you to test whether this one standard deviation principle works for intraday or not. If you take the stock list of this thing and you can re-examine with the that day's performance, you will come to know that whether this stocks which has given uptrend breakout or gap of action has performed or not during the day. So this will be a fantastic opportunity for you to test these things. However, you will not get the trend levels where to buy you have to sell those levels you won't get if you are a software user only you can get that. Only you will get the name of the stocks which is having given the uptrend or downtrend. So let me go into little into the open interest analysis of the Nifty future. Nifty having 42.7 lakhs contracts open in the put, 33.5 lakhs contract open in the call and this comes to 1.27. So as all of you know 1.16 above the put call ratio I used to say it is a uptrend till you can say 1.3 or 1.4. So it is only for nifty and for bank nifty 1.75 to 2 if the put call ratio remains then it will be uptrend. So this is what I used to recommend. So here it is saying that put call ratio is saying that you are in a good uptrend. Looking into the open interest picture, 9600 put having 57 lakhs and 9500 put having 63 lakhs and same way 9400 also 58 lakhs. So this is the open interest of put. As compared to this call, 9700 call having one great open interest. So 9600 to 700 you may experience amount of consolidation. Even though if it falls below 9600, 9500 is a great support you have. But if there is a crossover happens above 9700, you have all probability to penetrate 9800 or 900. Because this has lesser open interest as compared to puts. Comparing with the implied volatility, so implied volatility of call options are 6.5 to 7 range or 6 to 7 range. However, the puts are having higher implied volatility. This also suggests that you are in a uptrend. You are in a uptrend because lesser the volatility, lesser the demand, calls having a lesser demand, so writers are lesser. So 
in that proportionate way also we can say it is in an uptrend till this parameter holds good we can say it is in uptrend so this is what the this week trend and last week most of you would have got the report and last week we have projected till 9644 it has nifty has given a gap up and many didn't find a chance to enter the nifty however it has gone to second cycle also now coming to the bank nifty last week we have recommended this so stop loss has never triggered and 23320 above it has very well gone and it has made a high of 23538 or 39 so few points below the third target you have achieved so last week is a successful way week very you got excellent success so and this is for the last week's analysis and today we have conducted one webinar in the morning 9 o'clock to 9:30 that period we have analyzed nifty bank nifty tata steel hdfc bank aurobindo pharma this five companies we have discussed out of that when we have initiated that recording also available in our website so aurobindo pharma i have recommended that you should purchase above 9692 and today's high 7703 it has till third cycle it has come and given a great success and coming to the tata steel tata steel tata steel future though it has not uh, given success sometime it has consolidated from our point of entry it has not triggered the stop loss also not given the success so we didn't get any success in that same time we didn't get the failure also so it is a neither a losing trade nor a gaining trade so here we got a chance to enter however we didn't till 47 only 547 only we achieved the target 545.75 we entered the trade so this is what we did for the tata steel so only till first target we have achieved then moving to this hdfc bank hdfc bank what we have analyzed in the morning so all our futures so hdfc bank so that analysis is very much available in the youtube channel that recording is available so so it has not given us an entry so we have expected above 1666 we should purchase however it has not come 65.4 it has gone first cycle itself it has restricted itself second cycle it has just entered and surrendered between that so we didn't get a chance in the hdfc bank so aurobindo pharma we got a success tata steel we have not neither got the success nor the failure hdfc we didn't get a chance at all looking at the nifty we got a chance in the morning session if you have joined i would have told you to purchase with the put option and the nifty only till first target you have achieved so nifty suppose that towards the end it was 9682 high and you have achieved only till the first target so only till the first target 83 was there so one point lagging from the first target we have achieved 20 and it has a prolonged wait it was a consolidation phase of it back nifty it has not gone below 23420 to give a sell breakout so this also between the buy and sell entry it has consolidated it has not given any success for the day so though we got one success it was a great success in that trade so so other things were where we didn't get a success but not not to worry because we have not lost anything so this is the intraday performance for the day and those videos you can find out in our youtube channel here so you just visit our youtube channel this is the recording of those videos are available so follow us in the twitter and facebook so that the posts are being given so whenever we schedule any event we give any option related 
informations you will get it just follow us in the twitter or in the facebook and this levels predictions whatever we are giving so you can also download the pdf under the download link so here too also we have a couple of ebooks and other things are available that too also if you like you can download so download the market report or ebooks so this also absolutely freely you can get those reports and if this video you like that it has some useful informations for the traders and you like that yes this method works and it has a valid background behind it if you think that is this method is useful for the traders please share this report please share this video with your friends please share this video with your friends and give a like in that video so that it will be optimized by the youtube and many can get the benefit of seeing this video so download the next week's report test it experience it then give your feedback and if you have any feedback just post it in the inquiry i'll be glad to answer those things thank you